What is up everyone? Um, hope y'all are doing fine. My name is William Langren and uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Today we're just going to be talking all about robots and making characters because that's all fun. Uh, so uh, today we're going to be making this little gardener robot uh, inside a blender which will be really fun. Um, but if you have been following for, for a while, you know that I don't usually do YouTube tutorials that much. I mostly stick over on Patreon. But I thought this one could be pretty useful, and uh, yeah, here I am. So let's just jump right into it. Step numero uno, find some epic freaking reference. So I like going on Pinterest and just Googling or, or searching for, in this case, robots. Um, they have a lot of cool stuff, and I like they you can just kind of click through. I ended up using these three as my main sources of inspiration. Um, so yeah, I brought them into Blender and uh, lined them up with my reference human. Using a mirror modifier and some subdivision surface, you can easily just make some sort of fluid shape. This is going to be our base for adding in all the tech bits later, so you don't really need to go too intense on this. Just make sure that you'll be able to rig up the different parts. I like to have, for example, small gaps between the different limbs so I can just have some sort of greeble bit there later to kind of connect them because it's really hard to have connecting limbs. That's going to make it a pain rigging. Great, we're basically done with our base model and it's time for the next step, which is texturing. And I'm just going to go to texture.com and get some nice images. I decided to go for this aircraft panel thingy uh, that I then just later mapped onto the basic geometry. One little tip is to plug in different images of like concrete into the roughness and specular to get even more detail. Remember this doesn't have to be perfect considering we'll cover up most of it later. Here I realized that the main body was one part so I just kind of split them up into two sections. Just make sure you have clearly divided parts in your mesh for easier rigging. Great, so we now have our base mesh modeled and textured and it's now time for step number three, which is decorating and adding the detail. This is what will make it look good. So for this one, I'm going to be using my Greeble pack, which you can download in the description or uh, if you are on my Patreon, uh, you get it uh, included. But yeah. I'm just gonna load that into the asset browser, I have a video about that, and I'm just gonna start plugging them on there. It's kind of like building with Legos, and it's a really rewarding process, because every time you add in a little detail, you don't have to spend hours modeling that little thing and then realizing, ah, that doesn't fit. So you, you save a lot of time doing this. Two things to keep in mind while doing this is, one, do not have overlapping uh, greeble parts or otherwise it will be a pain rigging. So for example, I, I never have an arm greeble connecting to the torso because that's not going to bend well when we rig it later. The, the other thing is to not go overboard with this. If you do that, it's just going to end up looking like visual noise. So in the pack, I actually do include some panels and plates you can kind of put on top and that does help a lot. Another thing is to uh, add add some sort of color or something specific with your character because if it's just technical greeble it's not gonna look very interesting so for example i photo scanned some plants and just stashed them on the sides of my mesh to just add a little bit of character so this decorating step will probably take you most of your time so it's not really possible for me to just fit that into this short video but if you just want to see the full uncut version um i'll have that up on patreon but yeah right now i'm pretty happy with what we got so it's time for the next step which is rigging this is where we make our character movable now a lot of people tend to be afraid of rigging just because it looks like complicated but there is nothing to be scared of, it's quite straightforward. So what we want to do is we want to take all our different limbs and combine them into one object. So here I have the top part of his leg and I just want to join that together and do the same for basically all the different parts. <laughs> Alright, all the body parts are now separated and we are ready to start rigging. As you guys can see, I've provided y'all with a human-ish kind of rig uh, that you can download in the description. So once you got it, you just copy it into your blend file and line up the proportions of the rig to match the ones of your robot. 
Once that is done, you want to select each body part and shift click the rig. Go into post mode, hit control P and parent to bone. You basically just want to do this for every single body part. It sounds intimidating, but it shouldn't take too long. But once all of that is done, you should be able to just move around your character using your rig. All right, all right. Sorry for this little intermission, but um, a little tip here, if you're rigging your robot and you're having interlapping or overlapping um, vertices like this. So I have all these greeble parts here. And when I bend this bone, it just slides around like this. And um, you could technically rig up all the detail to actually work mechanically, but we are lazy, so we're not gonna do that. Uh, we're gonna utilize away um, this thing called a lattice. You've probably not heard of it. Uh, maybe you have. It's pretty fucking cool, and uh, it's pretty underrated as well. So let's let's use it. We want to put this uh, around the center, like where this bone would be bending, where the intersection kind of happens. So we want to have that be the center. So around here and. I'm gonna go into the lattice settings and crank up my settings a little bit here so we have some uh, more vertices so uh, what we want to do now is we want to have this bone or this part be unconnected to this bone so I'm gonna go into uh, P nope nope uh, parent clear and clear and keep transformation so this is now going to be separate from the rig and we now want to parent this to the uh, like lower part part of the um, belly and uh, I'm just going to parent that so if I now move this the other thing is going to move as well and I also want to parent this lattice to this object so every time I move the rig lattice moves as well and I want this to deform to the lattice so we add a lattice modifier. I've already done this before, so it was already there. Um, lattice modifier, and we select our lattice of choice, which happens to be lattice. All right, so if we now go in here and move these vertices, you see how that moves as well? I know, very cool. So what I'm gonna do is probably move this down a little bit because we're going to be deforming the top part here all right and we want this deformation to uh, be parented to this bone so we do that using Control h and hooking these vertices to a new object which will be this empty so if i move the empty it's going to move so we basically parent that empty to this bone oh no parent to bone like that so if I move this that moves as well so that's basically it you can scale this down if you want to make it a sphere but yeah that's how you do it but we want to animate this baby and animating turns out to be hard but the fine folks over at Rococo were very kind to send me one of their smart suit thingies and uh it's it's insane it took three minutes to just put it on and i'm basically just recording animation in real time just moving around it's, it's pretty nuts so here i'm spending 10 seconds doing something that normally would have taken a week to animate and get it looking all realistic and shit but if you don't have one of those uh it's fine it's fine so as you all know adobe started supporting blender uh, a few weeks ago and what that means is that they will be making add-ons for blender to integrate their products and one of them happens to be mixamo and they do animations and stuff like that so they came out with this add-on which allows you to just click literally one button and get a fully functioning ik rig which is it's so good uh yeah just install it, I'll link it down below, and uh, you just click generate rig, and okay, and you're done. You're obviously still gonna require animation skills, but this might help you along the way. But yeah, uh, that's, that's basically the video. Hopefully you learned a thing or two. Um, if you wanna download the, the robot and a bunch of other shit, um, go to my Patreon.
Yeah, see ya.